Hello everybody, welcome to another class of Science Wednesday. If you remember from last class, we saw a little bit of what the contagious rate is. خب چی چیز را از قبل می دانستیم؟ میزان مصری بودن یا ساری بودن به ما می گوید که یک فرد بیمار به چه تعداد افراد دیگر به چه تعداد افراد دیگر را آلوده خواهد کرد. اگر میزان آن کمتر از یک باشد، بیماری به آرامی گسترش می آبد. اگر میزان آن بزرگتر از یک باشد، این بیماری خیلی سریع گسترش می آبد. Now, today, Elska, what are we going to learn? So today we will see the situation where the contagious rate is higher than one. So if one person is sick, this person will give it to more than one other person. And what happens, what we call it if this happens, is an epidemic. If the contagious rate of a disease is larger than one, this is one person infect several people, we can face an epidemic. اگر نرخ یا همون میزان از یک بزرگتر باشد می توانیم با همه گیری رو برو شویم. If an epidemic spreads to different countries in different continents, then this epidemic becomes a pandemic. و اگر همه گیری در بسیار از کشورها گسترش شود با جهان گیری رو برو خواهم شد. All right, so we have seen many, many epidemics in the time of the human race. بیایید همه گیری هایی را که در گذشته اتفاق افتاده است ببینیم. The Black Death مرگ سیاه the Black Death was a pandemic that happened around 1350, killing more than 100 million people in Asia, Africa and Europe. In اتفاق در اروپا، آسیا و آفریقا در نزدیک یا در سالهای 1350 میلادی رخ داد که بیش از 100 میلیون نفر را هم از بین برد. The symptoms of the disease were high fever, dark marks in the skin, bumps of the size of an egg full of black and bad smelling liquid, and eventually death. In بیماری باعث تب، برآمدگی های بزرگ سیاه رنگ و دارای مواد مایه بدبو که باعث مرگ و میر انسان های زیاد شد. Doctors didn't know how the disease was spread. They thought it was through air or maybe by touching clothes of sick people or that the affected were those who got decided. Since they didn't know what the disease was, they were unable to stop it. پزشکان نمیدانند که چگونه این مرض شیوع و گسترش یافته است و برق تصور میکردند که این مجازات خداوند است. آنها به دلیل نداشتن دانش کافی قادر به جل... جلوگیری از شیوع بیماری نبود. In the 19th century, they realized the reason behind the disease, a bacteria. It is transmitted to humans by the bites of fleas that bit an infected animal before. دو ست سال پیش آنها کشف کردند که این بیماری توسط یک نوز باکتری ایجاد می شود. این بیماری توسط نش از نش از کک های بودند که قبل از آن حیوانات بیمار را نش زده بودند و معمولا این حیوان بیمار مش سهرایی بودند. In the 14th century, boats were full of rats and fleas. So when the rats got the disease, it easily spread around the world to port cities. اکثر قایق ها در سال 1350 پر از موش و کیک ها بود به همین دلیل این بیماری را این بیماری براحتی در شهرهای نزدیک که نزدیک بندر در سراسر جهان رواج دارد The low hygiene of people, lack of sewage and living conditions in cities were perfect for rats and fleas to flourish and since no one knew they were causing the disease, the spread was unstoppable شرایط بهداشتی و نبود فاضلاب در شهرها محیط مناسب برای موشها و کیک ها بود از آنجا که مردم نمی دانستند که این بیماری را گسترش می دهند نمی توانستند جلوی آنها را بگیرند funny thing, uh, an epidemic like this one, something, it's something really big, it has a huge impact. And in the case of the Black Death, they also think it in inspired social change. So it uh, created better circumstances for the workers, because there were so little healthy people left to work, that their wages went up. Oh. And also they think it inspired the technological discoveries, because they had to find another way to uh, use labor. 
بسیار از مردم فوت کردند که این حادثه یک انقلاب اجتماعی و تکنولوژی را برانگیخت تعدادی کمی از کارگران باقی مانده بودند بنابراین حقوق آنها بالا رفت بگذارید دوباره به گذشته سفر کنید So captain where are we going We don't know How we don't know what are we doing here then We're following Columbus And where is Columbus going We don't know Ah that, that makes sense Let's follow our friends going to America with Columbus for the first time بیایید که دوستانمان را که برای اولین بار به کولمبوس در آمریکا می روند دنبال کنیم When Columbus and explorers arrived to America they brought with them diseases from Europe Europeans were used to these diseases and could survive them, but Americans were not. The explorers started war with the natives of the continent, and they won, thanks to a weapon that they didn't even know they had. Diseases like smallpox and chickenpox kill around 90% of the natives. Hangami ki bumiyan va europayi ha jang ra shiru kardan, europayi ha salahe dashtan ki hata khodishan ham nami danistan. Bimari ha hududi 90% az jamiyati bumi amerika ra kusht. Okay, so actually a lot of Native Americans died in huge numbers just because of diseases that we brought from Europe. But then... Why didn't European people die in huge numbers because of diseases from America? چرا اروپایی‌ها به دلیل بیماری‌های آمریکایی فوت نکردند؟ When Europeans came back to Europe, they might have brought diseases from America, but the immune systems of Europeans was used to live in very unhygienic conditions, surrounded by animals, and exposed to a lot of different infective agents. So it was better prepared to fight intruders. than the immune systems of Americans. Europeans have adapted to the life of the animals, animals, like animals and animals. Therefore, the system of the immune system has adapted to the problems of the animals or the animals. The system of the immune system has not been strong enough. What are we doing today? If a person is a disease, he can transfer the disease to a few people, we can transfer the disease to a few people. If a disease یا همگیر در چندین کشور گسترش یابد با یک بیماری جهانگیری یا پندمیک روبرو خواهیم شد انسان ها قبلا با همگیری های زیاد روبرو شده اند برخی از آنها ناشی از باکتری ها مانند مرگ سیاه و دیگران ناشی از ویروس مانند ویروس آبله یا و همچنین اچ آی وی Bye-bye.